Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing Jenga 1.0.1. This box read about easy. And yeah, I'll be as enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to start by opening my terminals here. I'm going to start by running a and discover minus R. 10.0.0.1 slash 24 slash IT0. I do this, so you get the IP of the box. 10.0.0.1.1.5. So I'm going to do control shift Z. Start by running a map scan. So I'll do MM minus C for default scripts. Minus SV for enumeration. I was kind of ports in the IP. Doing this, I'm going to do minus V for verbose. Like at the ports, we do have port 80 open for HTTP and port 21 open for FTP. So we're going to see if it, um, anonymous mode is enabled for FTP. So we'll do FTP, enter the IP address. We'll type in anonymous, press enter. And it doesn't seem like it's available, right? So doing this, I'm going to start by using port 80. Well, it does seem like we do have a static directory here for site. I'm going to do control U2 source code. It doesn't seem like you're doing anything right. So I'm gonna copy this and start by doing some ration and running a go buster. So I'll do go buster dir mode minus u once the IP address minus w for slash user share word list with a dir buster directory. Let's do the medium dot txt we do extensions as HTML, txt and also PHP. Uh, looking at this, it does seem like we, we do have a slash WordPress here. So I'm gonna start by visiting slash WordPress. And uh, it doesn't seem like this is powered, we can't find the powered by WordPress. Um, so I'm going to just copy this, run a GoBuster against this subdirectory for WordPress. And it doesn't seem like we do find the WP login.php, right? We do have a config.php though, so let's start by visiting config.php. And we do get a username at localhost. It does seem like this is the output for MySQL as a login field or connection field. So let's go back to site. Let's start by doing some narration. So here we do have an about projects and also this page here. Um, it is using, it's going to this page.php with the parameter of this, right? It does seem like it is using a get parameter. So if we do ID, uh, it does show that we are under dump 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 data, right? So I'm gonna send this within proxy. So to burp. I'm gonna go to close, next, start burp. So I'm gonna go to proxy, we'll go to options. We'll specify my specific address here. Go to OK. Press enter on this. Send this with then repeater. Send this. And we are dub 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 data, right? So I'm going to start by spawning a reverse shell here. So I'm going to clear this. Do control shift Z. We'll do all rab net cap minus LMVP on 4444. I'm just going to go to payload all the things. Let's turn off my proxy. We'll do payload all the things uh, rev shell. So I'm going to do control F, we'll search over Python. So I'm going to copy this. Put this here, we'll run this in Python 3. We'll change the IP address to 10.0.0.0.6.9 on the port of 4444, right? So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to do control U2, you want to code this. Send this. And it doesn't seem like we do get a shell, right? Another way to confirm this, I'm going to start by spawning a I'm start by starting up my server on port 8081. Just to, it does seem like we don't have a connection to our machine. So just to confirm this, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm doing wget http 10.0.0.0.6.9 on port 8081. And I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna get a file.txt that does not exist under the directory, right? So I'm gonna highlight this to control you to your own code. And you do see that we don't get a get request from the server, right? So it doesn't seem like this, it seems like it's blocking um, outbound connections to our machine. So I'm guessing this uh, WW beta has no, can't ping, right? Or use W or curl on the box, right? So I'm just gonna start by doing like analysis minus LA. I'll just run this within the browser so I don't have to URL encode this. So I'm gonna do Alice minus LA. I'm gonna do control U. Um, if we run a PWD, we are under var www.html. So I'm going to run a Alice my LA under slash var www html. And it does seem like we do have a site and also a dot backup, right? So I'm going to cat this out since this is a file. So I'm going to highlight this, cat this out under var www html slash dot backup. And here we do get a database username and also a password. So we do get a password as abrigrill69 and jngl01, right? Uh, we did see that we did have, um, if I do control shift Z, 
is running FTPD and um, I'm just going to try these creds on FTP, right? So I'm going to do control shift Z. So do FTP 10 So I'm just going to copy this. And then we'll copy the password. And it does seem like we do get long cells, right? We do PWD and we are under var dub dub dub, right? So I'm going to CD into HTML. And you do see that we do have our dot backup, right? So I'm just going to get this dot backup. Now that should be on our machine. I'm going to go under slash WordPress to see if there's like a config.php. I'm going to get the config.php. Excel this. I'm going to get the config.php. And it does seem like we do have another username and also a password, right? It seems like this is the same password, right? Since we can't get a shell through FTP, I'm just, I'm not sure if this is going to be the intended way on how to do this box, but um, I'm just going to log in through the VM, uh, which is, which is through the console and use these creds to log in as on SSH, right? So I'll see you guys in the console. All right. So we are now on the console. So um, I'm going to be using those creds to log in through this console. So we do know it's jing al01 as a, as a password we did see from the dot backup and also um, abby girl 69, right? And we do get long cells, right? So I'm gonna clear my terminals here. I'm gonna do ID. I'm gonna start by running a pseudo mind cell. I'm gonna enter the password 69. It doesn't seem like you could run um, any pseudo commands, right? So I'm gonna do Alice mind cell A. We do have our user.txe. I'm also gonna run a UNA minus A for the kernel. All right, so it does seem like we can run a dirty account here, but the problem with this is that we can't ping my IP address. So that means we can't use tools like curl, wget, um, just to get the C file on the machine, right? So if I ping my IP address, which is 10.0.069, you do see that we do get option option permitted, right? So that means only root can run, uh, it can ping and use wget and curl. So doing that, um, I'm going to be using the creds for Django 01 for FTP, and we're going to transfer the .c file through FTP, right? So we're going to switch it back to my Kelly machine. All right, so now we're back on the Kelly machine. So I'm going to go to Firefox, open a new tab. I'm start, start, I'm starting by searching up dirty cow. We'll search up mem exploit.c. Uh, we can just go to this one here. I'm just gonna go on raw data here. Copy this. W get this onto our own machine. So I'm just gonna W get this. Now we do have our dirty cow dash mem.c. Looking back over here, it uh, just gives a command to compile this using GCC. So I'm gonna copy this, put this in here. It just gives an error, but you can just leave that alone. And now we do have our dirty cow dash mem right as executable right so we're going to ftp so we can transfer this onto the machine so do ftp 10 0015 we did have a user as jing al01 and also a password is abby girl 69 so i'm going to cd into temp we're going to be using the put command which is dirty cow dash mem and you do see that we do have a file here now right so then now let's switch back to the console all right so now we're back on the machine so i'm going to cd into slash temp i'm going to do else my silly we'll do chmod plus six for dirty Dash mem. I'm also going to run, run the executable. Um, we can just press enter and CD. And we had approved.txe. Well, guys, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.